I can't help it that I shift hard, Eric. Look. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's a manual, what can I say? All right, so what's up, guys? James here from uh, Detroit Deviant. We are heading out right now to go check out a 67 uh, Lincoln Continental convertible. I got the call, uh, I guess, yesterday. Um, it's right here in town, about six miles from our shop. So I'm really excited to go see it. It's a black uh, 67 vert with a white leather interior, white top. So they sent me some pictures. It looks a little rough, but hopefully it'll be in our wheelhouse for price. And uh, we're gonna see if we can shoot them an offer. Okay, so if anybody's looking for a project car, <laughs> uh, we might have this car pretty soon. And uh, we're gonna be looking for a customer to do a full rest restoration on it. So if anybody's been thinking about it, they wanna pull the trigger on a vert, um, hopefully we'll, we'll have this one here soon. What is up? All right, so you guys know from the previous clip that we went and uh, looked at a 67 Continental. Um, the guy didn't want me to film while we were there, so I don't have any uh, video of us filming, us checking out the car. Um, but we did strike a deal, and we are headed now to pick it up and bring it back to the shop. And uh, we'll get it up on the lift and really get a good look at it, but hopefully uh, we bought a good car. It does need a lot of work, but who can resist a 67 Lincoln Continental convertible? Not us, apparently. <laughs> Out here in the boonies. We have arrived. Alright, here she is, 67, original Florida car, original black. The guy's even going to drive it over to the shop for us so we don't have to switch trucks. They bought this car, the story goes, from the little old lady in Ocala, Florida. And uh, they bought it from her 10 years ago, put it up on this trailer, and it's been on the trailer for the last 10 years in this barn. And uh, so we are happy to take it off their hands. And our goal for today is to get it fired up today. See if we can get it running. So who knows what we're in for, but she's a beaut. Of course it needs a top, needs all new interior. It's got some bad corrosion on the pitting and stuff on a few things. It's got the original bucket seats, which is pretty rare. It's pretty straight though. I mean, look at these dog legs. I know you guys are jealous of that right there. Original wheel wells. Oh yeah. All right, we're rolling out. The uh, owner offered to just tow it over to the shop for us. He already had it hooked up to his truck. So we're like, hey, why not? We're only six miles away, so um, that way we don't have to drive back over here and bring his trailer back. Because it's already on the trailer. They bought it 10 years ago from a little old lady in Ocala, Florida, and never took it off the trailer. So it's been sitting on this trailer since uh, 2007, is what the paperwork says. So are you excited as me, Dave? Oh, yeah. Are you? Are you really? Are you going, what have I got myself in? What the fuck have Look I got? how pretty it is from this shot here. I just love that front end. It's just fucking awesome. 
I do love that the 67, 66 has Continental written on it too. Right. And then the hood ornament sticking yeah. up, whereas mine, you know, now the 68, that Ralph Nader got involved. So they moved the, the star up onto the front there. So oh yeah, it wasn't no, sticking no up. Spike. Yeah, no spike, no uh, death spike sticking no up. No death spike. It's been naderized. Yeah. It's got a little gangster lean to it, it does right have now. A little gangster lean to it. <laughs> All right. I don't know how smooth this is going to be. Right? I know this looks sort of rusty, but actually this car is rust free. 99% rust free. Look at these floor pans. Not an issue at all. Love it. Got this car, and uh, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna try to fire it up. Sheridan Motor in Old California. Alright, we've owned this car for 30 minutes. All right, go ahead. All right, here we go. What? I heard it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hold on. She requires a little bit more fuel. It's going to require a little bit of love here. Still blow some, blow some shit out here. All right, so we had to replace a uh, couple battery lines. And uh, points, points and condenser. I heard it. What's that clackety clack noise? Uh, I, I do. There's something, something going down over here. Like a a uh, blown out exhaust gasket. Yeah. Number 
or right. Whatever. She fired up. That's all it's gonna run for me. Yeah. I got the crew here making steering box spacer kits for Detroit Deviant. Oh yeah. We move a lot of these. This is a must have guys if you're driving an old Continental. And just always keep in mind that it's put together with child American labor. Oh yeah, thanks. <laughs> Pretty bad exhaust leak. Fifty-four thousand three hundred ninety original miles. 